a tfwire.com video review. Hey gang, Spada coming at you with another video review. This time we're taking a look at Transformers Animated Bumblebee. This figure, well, I'm happy and sad with this figure both at the same time. Let me explain. Um, I'm real. I was really looking forward to this figure. I'm thrilled that I have him, but the quality control on this figure is absolutely horrendous. Uh, it's very difficult to see from this picture from the video, but the plastic used for this part, the top, the part, the parts here and the part back here, or right here, and the top, are completely different from the rest of the figure. All it I don't know how well this is going to show up on YouTube, but the paint apps on this figure are atrocious. I mean, you've got different color yellow all over the thing, and the black isn't even the same color. The black that makes the stripe is different colors on here, here, and here. It's very difficult to see on camera, but if, if you saw it in person, you would be able to tell. Otherwise, it's a very, very cool little car. Um, I really can't see the headlights at all. There are headlights right here. I don't know if you can see them. I couldn't. I mean, if it weren't for the fact that I have a light right behind me, I wouldn't be able to see them. But it's a very cool little police car. I guess it's a police car. I guess that's what he's supposed to be. He is supposed to be Doctor or uh, Def Detective Fanzone's car. It, it's a great little car. I love it. Little Lobot symbol here on the bumper. Uh, the thrusters can actually come off, and they are silver. Like I don't remember in the show if they were silver. I know in Velocity they were yellow, but I can't remember when the first time they showed up if they were yellow or silver. But they're very cool looking. I'll probably repaint these. To be yellow and black to go with the figure, but yeah, that's just me. Um, it's a very sweet looking car. I would love to have this as a, as my, as my car, a daily driver. I just think it looks sweet. But uh, let's go ahead and get him transformed. First thing we're going to do is actually go back here and push this up. That will come in handy later. Next thing we're going to do is actually. Now this is where I'm kind of kicking myself because you really kind of want the thrusters installed, plugged in here, because it makes the transformation a lot easier. What you're gonna do is actually grab this, these whole sections and just lift them up and just leave enough clearance like that. You don't wanna leave it like that or like this because there won't be enough clearance for the other parts. Then you're gonna grab the section here and just take the whole front section and flip it over thusly. As you can see, it's exactly like the show, like that. And at this point, if you've got enough clearance, you're going to want to take this whole section and twist it around and then push it down. That just makes things easier. Just trust me on that. Now, we're done with these parts. We can actually collapse them onto what will be the figure's back. And, ugh, sometimes they don't want to go, but there we go. Got it in, and they combine, and they close together thusly. Next thing we're going to do is I like to transform the arms next. Let's just grab them and then kind of swing them out from back and swing them back to form more stable shoulders. And then I like to collapse the stingers in and you actually reach in here and flip the hand up thusly. Uh, I'm going to try and get that on a background. There we go. See, they come up from behind. They're actually stored right there. Now, a big problem I've had with this figure is the paint apps are so light, it's very difficult to even see the figure in normal light. He looks almost transparent, almost translucent, I should say, not transparent. So there are the hands. Uh, I'm actually probably going to take a Sharpie to these things or a, a small model pen and actually do some panel lines on the figure. I think that would be a big improvement on this guy but that's not here or there. Okay, uh, next thing we're gonna do is gonna take the entire front of the car and actually just rotate it forward thusly. See what I did there? It rotates out 
and then goes all the way around to form the feet. And we can break this these parts apart to split apart the legs. And the last bit is kind of tricky. You want to be a little gentle because right here it sticks, but then if you just pop it off, no, I'm sorry, right here it sticks. So you just kind of pop it off and then move it forward and spin it around. And then this is actually on a spring, so just let it fall back and it'll actually add some stability in robot mode to the figure. And there we go. We have transformed Deluxe Animated Bumblebee. Um, unfortunately, he has the same problems in robot mode that he had in car mode with the pain. The pain apps are ultimately pretty bad. He's not nearly as bright as I would like him to be, or as bright as he shows up in the cartoon. The one cool thing is he does have some light piping in the eyes, uh, failing it, failing miserably at that. Uh, he does look very cool. He is great for a shelf. Unfortunately, due to all the kibble from car mode, he doesn't have a lot of posability, but he does have a lot of range of motion. I'm sorry, I forgot to bring the head up too. Uh, the car kibble on the back of the legs kind of limit him, but he's a little top heavy in parts, but it's not a bad figure at all. His feature are the stingers, which you can either fold the hands away or not and just deploy them. And they combine thusly. Doesn't look anything like the show, sadly. I wish it did. I wish it looked more like the show than it does, but oh well. I think that's my only complaint, uh, my real complaint that I don't actually like of the figure, other than the paint job, are the stingers. I think they're kind of weak. But besides that, you know, I, oh well, it's just a toy. It's not the end of the world. Um, now, sometimes I've seen it where some, I've actually seen a couple of different directions for this. Either putting the arms, the shoulders like this, where the bumper is like that, or leaving it where the shoulders are pointed up. Now, other than that, He's a great figure. I strongly recommend picking him up. Hopefully, when these things hit the US, we will have better paint apps on the figure. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go out, buy another figure, and repaint it. Um, probably take it apart. I don't know if I'll have time for it, but I'm noticing there aren't nearly as many pins on the animated figures as I have seen in other lines. There are more screws than anything. The, there are only four pins on this figure. Elbows, knees. That's it for pins. But otherwise, great figure. I strongly recommend you pick it up. It's fun. Um, I don't want to give it a, a score. I'm just going to say pick it up or don't pick it up from now on, probably. But uh, I like it. I say pick it up. Uh, if you don't like Bumblebee, hey, don't bother, man. You're not, if you don't like Bumblebee, you're not going to like this figure. That's just the end of it. And this is Fata Sin. I'll catch you guys later.